Kate, good evening to you. We are reporting tonight from a country fighting for its survival against one of the most sophisticated and largest militaries on the planet. I'm here in Lviv where we're already hearing air sirens, but its citizens say they are ready to fight. New satellite imagery just in tonight appears to show hundreds of Russian military vehicles in a convoy heading towards Kyiv. A senior U.S. defense official says Putin's forces are 30 kilometers from the capital. The people we've met are resilient, they are defiant, and they are united. But how long can they hold off attack after brutal attack? Tonight, as Ukraine tries to fend off missile attacks and relentless shelling, a possible shift between the two sides. Ukraine and Russia agreeing to hold negotiations on the border of Belarus. Their security guaranteed by Belarusian strongman and Putin ally Alexander Lukashenko. Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky doubting the outcome but hoping for peace. For now, Ukrainian soldiers managing to stop Russian advances on Kyiv. But new images appear to show growing Russian ground forces pushing towards the capital. Russia still targeting Ukraine's infrastructure. A missile strike at an oil depot near Kyiv lit up the night sky. And in Kharkiv, an explosion at a gas pipeline as more heavy fighting broke out in the streets. Tanks burning alongside the roads. Fighters surrounded by destruction. The path of war marked by bombed out vehicles, charred roads and buildings blown out. This resident saying, my friend lives here, so I came to check. It is very bad. Innocent civilians caught in the crosshairs. This nine-story apartment building shelled. Civilians helping civilians any way they can. Their homes destroyed. One woman died. 20 people were rescued from the rubble as dozens more hid out in safety. The death toll is rising. At least 350 people have been killed, more than 1,500 injured. Still, the citizens of Ukraine are resolute. The mayor of Lviv, the cultural capital of this country, telling me even his wife will take up arms if need be. As a Ukrainian, how does that make you feel, especially as a Ukrainian leader? Have you felt uh, pride for your people? It is great honor for me. My people today like lions and million, million people in uh, different country support our position. We fight for democracy in words. And so many Ukrainians spent another night underground in bomb shelters and subway stations with more international help rolling in in the form of supplies and weapons, Ukrainians are bracing for another bloody night. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.